She's making a noise. Thank you. Got a picker. Right, good morning. Say good morning. What? Good morning. It's Sunday again, and it's that time of the month. Another little pick. Been, been a month already, and it's March. And where's the year gone already? It's Sunday the 5th of March, 2023. And as you can see, we're on the reopened and newly parked, newly parked tarmac canal path, which was open a lot earlier than the May, as I said in my write-up. Trouble is, there's quite a bit of litter to pick up, so we're not probably going to walk too far. I'm just concentrating on a little area today. Paul's making a start. Because there's loads. There is loads. I mean, path looks nice. So, we'll see. How much we can pick up. A lot of it was in the water when I was walking past the other day without any gear on me. So again, yes, we have the net with us today, which we purchased off Amazon. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's there you go. Yeah, that extends that far. It's good length to it. Get a bit extra ones. So we'll make a start. But it does look quite good actually, the new path. Comes a runner. But there's lots to pick. Gonna be there a while. <laughs> too bad down here actually usually they'll sit down here and chuck all the cans in the gutter here but it's not actually too bad no I think that's it there got a bits in the water and that's just part of something that was growing perhaps It carries on there. I'll put some stuff in the back. That's full. Well, it's going to be a while, isn't it? The loads in there. I'll leave that to last. Let's see what we're doing. Doggy bags. Jar or something there, I don't know what that is. It's heavy, doesn't want to be picked up. No, you don't want to be picked up. Uh, it's not too bad a day today actually. A bit cloudy, but overcast. Oh, I know it's going to turn colder this week. Maybe some snow. So we'll have to see what happens there. I 
Done it. Oh, stash. Okay, you got most of it. I'm take the bag then and I'll put some stuff in there. And then you got your own picker to use. Hey? I have, so yeah, you can you can have that one back, yeah. Alright. What you couldn't pick up? Yeah, don't know what's in it. Some sort of mayonnaise or something, well looks of it. Oh. Is that a Christmas tree decoration? I think it is, it's a bauble. Oh, there you go. And full of water as well. And Polly. Fruit shoe, there's always a fruit shoe, there's always a Buster's can. That's a bit of water. And there's always some deodorant bottles as well. Some deodorant sprays. Things you can rely on. Lucas Aid cans. Foster's. We're going to that. Foster's cans. Deodorant sprays. Oh, there's another one there. Links. <clears throat> Got just my little pile down there if you want to go and get it for us. Oh, and the uh, bread. But this path is a lot wider than it was anyway, isn't it? Yeah. It's taken quite a bit out of the side there. It's put the path down. It's just the fact the bushes was that... Uh, uh, right yeah, I guess you don't really know if uh, you've been no. walking along it so, so long and they just changed it. some water out of it. There's a lot of water in there. There it was. Yeah, it is a bit chilly, isn't it? It's going to get colder as well this week. <laughs> it's just a bag of water. Yeah, it's probably all the because you've got the water in the water in there, aren't you? Yeah. Yep. Indeed. Oh, something else you always find for some reason these little uh, takeaway boxes. They usually fall. That one wasn't. Yeah. Actually, there's two lighters there. Yeah. And I said they all need to be planted so they can grow again. So you bought ten bags today, didn't you? I'll see why when we go around the corner. Yeah, you'll see why we bought 10 bags. I mean, you're thinking probably 
Well, not too bad at the moment, but <laughs> we'll show you just how bad it is. I think that's one of those cream canisters. They sniff. I can't really see. I think. I don't really know, to be fair. It's heavy. Some weight behind it. And Paul's digging up there, just in front of the bridge. Doing a grand job. I think we're going to have to do another bag though, because that one's getting too heavy now. You want to? Okay. Careful. So that's the first bag. How long have we been out for? It hasn't that long. No. Well, we've got all we have to say is we've walked, we've walked from those, those railings there. Yeah, basically. so railings down the bottom there. Well, that, that was the good bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. One <laughs> one bag and that was a good bit. Um, so what we do is you're going to get rid of that bag first? No, no, we're just, we, we might as well uh, get two or three bags and take them all over at the same time. Okay. Yeah. So this area here is not far from where we live. It's probably a five minute walk. So we thought we'd concentrate on this bit here, just to make it look a bit better. Because it's a lovely new path. Because it is a nice new path, yeah. It's far better than it was. It was just a dirty... It's the all overgrown. Yeah. And you couldn't even get through it. It was like a mud path, and in summer it was just literally you couldn't get through. Yeah, I've, the camps, I've been onto the camps, so, but it was never never done. But now it's beautiful, they've done a great path, but they've just left all the litter. Yeah, basically. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. This is what we're dealing with. And this is probably going to take a while to sort out. Um. We'll try our best to get as much as we can. We've bought 10 bags. We've used one already. But this is how bad it is. And what they've done is they've literally dug it all up, but just plonked everything on top of what was there. So it's pretty bad. And steps up to the road there. Which will clear. So we'll make a start, I suppose. It's a good time of year to be doing it because it's not overgrown. Spring hasn't set in yet. Might be a bit slow it all down there first. We'll get up there and just throw it down. So, yeah, get up there, throw it all down. Yeah. So you just get all in. Yeah. Okay. Make a start then. And then uh, get all these bits in a bit. Right, you do that and I'll throw the bag then, I suppose. Oh, it's looking much better already. Yeah. Looking much better already. How much is over the uh, steps there? Loads. Get another bag started.
Oh, that's it. Lobbing things at me. Right. Digging a little bit deeper now. But it's going well. Because that pool's just throwing all this down from the top. So, this is our third bag. Bag number three. And I'm surprised we're getting to the majority of it, to be fair. Yeah, we've got a big pile here, then we have to jump back over our stack. Yeah. Probably have somebody moaning and trying to get down the steps. Yeah, I know. Some of this stuff's been here years. The looks of it. Mm -hmm. It's good doing it now because, like I said, we wouldn't be able to get most of this in the summertime because it'll be overgrown. People just thought about what they were doing. But unfortunately, there's so many people in the world who don't care about this sort of thing. It means people like us, and there are plenty of people like us, thankfully, come out. Come out and do it. Where are you going? And it really does annoy me. You know, just that one, one bottle that somebody's got. If they just, one bottle or one can or whatever it is. Just thought about disposing of it properly. I just wouldn't be in the state it's in. And it's one of my big bugbears with people in their life. People not thinking about what they're doing or caring about their environment. Paul's made a pile up there, which you can get from the other side. But to be fair, we've done a really good job here. I'm really quite pleased with it. Let's get rid of that with the... Uh, Whatever these are over here. And we'll get to the other side in a bit. But actually look at the difference there already. Hi. There he is. You see him? It's me. Hi. Problem isn't me, it's everybody else. Yeah, happy with that. As that overgrows, oh, springs up in the summer, that looked quite nice. But of course, you still get people coming along and uh, getting rid of their rubbish. Yeah, all right, digging a little deeper again. Right, I'm on the opposite side now to where Paul is. And got a few bits and bobs in here. I've got a bag over the side there, so I'm going to try and see if I can chuck some stuff out the other side. Uh, there's an old mattress there, which I ain't going to get, so I'll have to report that, I suppose. But if I can get the majority of this out, then at least 
some some of it cleared in it. Uh, yeah, somebody just dumped some clothes there, I think. Suitcase, but that's been there a while. It's mainly bedding by the looks of it, strangely enough. I don't know. I do find some weird stuff. I mean, why do people traipse all the way out here just to dump bedding? No logic to it at all. Oh, this is my back, so I'll just collect it from the other side. Um, where they've done the canal, they've buried a lot of it with all the stuff they've taken up to put the new park in. and clothing which I'll uh, try to bag up. I ain't gonna be able to get any of this. Looks like a Z bed, some sort of put you up bed type thing. There's an exhaust there as well which will report and get taken away. Good thing is if you report it usually it's usually collected as long as you give them a good description of where things are. They're quite good in that respect. Ooh. But we've done a good job, if I say so myself. It's quite tight though. You could probably be kitted out here, I'll tell you. Found a vest, some gloves, coat. I don't want to get my hands in there because you never know who's been dealing with it. You've got to be wary of not touching your face as well after you've done this until you've had a good hand wash. Because there could be all sorts of things lurking on some of this stuff. I think that's just a suitcase. King of Trainers. Yeah, I mean, it's quite interesting, but it's sad as well, in a way. Because obviously, these clothes belong to someone at some point in time some jeans there. Um, are you limited to the amount of bags you've got as well? There's my stash, you can see it. Shall I empty into that bag? And I think we're on about the fifth bag now. I don't know where Paul's gone. I think he might be up the steps. Ah. Uh, it's a onesie. I think it's a onesie. It's a onesie or a jumper. Again, I don't worry about what you're touching. You never know what it is. I think somebody's just dumped all their clothes here because it feels like a big pile of stuff. Uh, yeah, I'll get what I can the rest of it. I'll go in there that side. A sleeping bag over there, so whether somebody's been sleeping in here. Hmm. Oh, I don't know what's in there, but it's pretty heavy. Your stash up here. Oh, yeah, somebody's done. Let's see what we'll get on that in a bit. I think we're on our seventh bag. Three left. We'll clear, clear all this up. We're on our seventh bag now. Three left. Clear all this up. Get your stash back up there. And then 
go down there. Go a little bit up there. We can get rid of the bags down the bottom there. Oh, what's that? What's all that there then? Just a load of... Oh, it's that stuff we just bagged up, I think, isn't it? Are you feeling satisfied this, uh, this time? Kind of. Just Not like... frustrated like you were last time? No, but I just... <laughs> But I haven't got enough bags. <laughs> Everyone's like, back, thought, back at home, 10, we 10 thought. Will 10 will be pretty enough, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty more Sundays in the, in the year. <laughs> well, I see, because you can't get out of the bottom there, can you? Well, you've just sort of the bag. I will. So... I need to get back to the seat. I need to get back to the bag. You got it? Yeah. Do you mean to go and get another bag? You're going to need another one anyway, aren't you? Yeah, we'll need it. Yeah, because I'd start to one anyway. Yeah. Ninety percent better than it was anyway. Well, that's the. Yeah. And a lot of it's buried. You can't pull out. Yeah, can you? Some of it's just impossible to get through, isn't it? Yeah. So if anybody moans, don't. Like, oh, you missed a bit. Oh, probably be somebody that moans. Takes a long to get up, didn't you? Hey. That didn't take so long to get up. No, no, because there's quite a bit there, weren't there? Can you get your stick down to that bit down there? Those cans there? Or not? We might, we might have to try going down. Oh, over the others, over, over the top. Down. Try, but I couldn't get it. Well, this is not going to be an eyesore to walk past now. Or cycle. Or cycle past, yeah. It's quite bad here, isn't it? Yeah. So, okay. so it's good the road bridge. So we have the nice new path. So this is everything that we've just cleared off. I see. Quite happy with it to be fair. Yeah, it's come out quite yeah, well, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah. One or two bits, but they're just impossible to get to them all. Well, it's because they're all uh, buried yeah. quite bad. Yeah, many, yeah, I mean, many bags that are buried deep. Yeah, all that side. That side wasn't too. Then this side wasn't too bad, but it's still got a fair bit from it. No, just to the corner there is where. Yeah. Just there is where I um, cleared out inside where all the uh, bedding was and the clothes, bag of clothes. But this was all just full of cans down here. All this here was really bad. Like, really bad, the best we can. Yeah, most of that. That was just full of it, wasn't it? Yeah, there, yeah. I mean, there's still a little bit there, but it's all bits and pieces. Yeah. The steps, the steps. The steps are nice and clean. 
Let me down this side. All down this side. All down this side. Let me see how long it takes to... Yeah, uh... Loads of cans. Problem is we're probably one bag short. Probably could have done with one more bag. Yeah, we'll I guess so, of, yeah. We'll run out of bags. Yeah, but for 10, 10 bags that we've done, yeah, yeah, so, we've cleared it quite well. Yeah. I mean, managed to get in there quite a bit on, on the left hand side. Yeah, because it's fully... Still, still one or two bits here, which, but we just ran out of bags. We have. But, uh, but it's, you know, good. Quite happy. And over the road. And we cross over. As you can see. And get across. Is our stash. Yep. Which has taken us just over two hours to do. Which is pretty good, really. Yep. Ta da! There you go. There we are. Ten bags. Ten bags, an umbrella, a vacuum cleaner, and some. Looks like a, a burnt up swimming pool. Burnt up swimming pool. Yeah, so there we go. And that is today's yeah. work. Hopefully, the council will pick all that up tomorrow once it's been reported. Yep, and I'm pretty badly cut up so all in all, that's hard work that is a good two hours <laughs> happy with that yes quite happy good good yeah satisfied home time <laughs>